She is already over here causing a headache. Having a standoff. Hey, what's going on? I am Jay Dudley and uh, talking about my goat. She's over there in the field, which I'm about to head back over there too. I just got back from uh, doing a little bit of shopping, trying to get a new, um, uh, either a new tether or a new harness or something for her. Ended up getting another collar. I was talking to uh, my uh, sister Liz and she was giving me some uh, some pointers about dealing with goats and what you can do, what is going to work, what doesn't work, different things like that. Because uh, I try to let uh, let our goat sugar run, roam free and do her thing, but she was getting on to uh, onto the other property, going over to the other goats, and then while over there. Uh, first, she was flirting with the male goats. That uh, that wasn't going good because we weren't ready uh, uh, to breed her. Then we said, you know what? Why not? Let's breed her. We got Clean Meat Co. Uh, about to start up. So they're going to need some goat meat, some sheep meat, and all of that stuff. Uh, and it's like, all right, well, let's breed her. So uh, we put her in there with the boys the first time. She wasn't. Uh, she was running from them, hiding from them. Then the next time she snuck over there, she was in heat again and ended up, uh, well, we are assuming that she's pregnant. We'll find out in a month or two uh, when she starts showing because I think the gestation period is about five months. So that'll work out good. And um, uh, But then she still finds her way either over the fence that I put up, under the fence, around it, or something. She doesn't go over to the boys anymore. She ends up going over to the uh, going over to the females, and one female that's pregnant, she gets into it uh, with hers, and they just start bumping heads. Uh, I, I guess jealousy or um, the female goat over there is like oh you slept with my man uh jerry 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 and then all the other goats are just looking around as they um as they fight uh and whenever she goes over there and hops over I end up putting her on a tether and that tends to work out good she doesn't like it uh that's why we're trying to grow the flock so that uh, she has her own baby goats to tend to and then won't feel the need to run over there to go fellowship and hang out. I, I had her on one tether, which I think is over here. On, actually, no. Where did I put it? It is... Oh, no. It's back over here. Got to go walk over here to go get this other tether that she ended up snapping, which kind of sucked. It's this cable tether that's right here. And this is what was connected to her with the spring on it so that when she would pull the tension and the cable popped out, I'm gonna try and open that up and see if I can recrimp it down and use it again. Uh, and then after that, I had a longer tether that I had her on and uh, made her a nice little hay bed over here in this little shed. And she was connected onto this wood right here. And she ended up snapping the wood. So that sucked. That sucked that she snapped the wood. So... Then I took her out to a field where we're actually about to go out to. And um, in the field, I attached her to a tree. That was about the only thing that would, um, would seem to hold her uh, being connected to this tree, which she's on right now. But while she was on the tree th uh, this morning, I... Uh, I came over, brought her some water. Everything was fine and good. 
I was talking with my brother Jody outside uh, because he's over here on the property visiting. And I, I had to go do some electrical work. I uh, went in the house. Oh, I guess the sunset is messing with things or something readjusting. I uh, I went to, uh, I needed to go do some electrical work and went inside the house, let my wife know, then came back out. She's missing her, um, her harness. Like how the heck did that happen? She, I had this, uh, dog harness for, her, which was working great. And it failed right here. She must have wore through it. She was, uh, she would, um, back up, run full speed and then snap and try and break free. Today, she was actually able to break free. Now, I well, spoke with, um, uh, with my sister Liz as sugar is over here peeing a little bit. And I asked her like, Hey, do you have a temporary collar that I can use? And she said, yeah, I think I do. And look at what she brought us. Let's spin this around. Look, it's a spiked collar. Oh, did I mess it up? I think I did. Press the button. So it's a spike collar that Sugar is rocking because she's punk rock now. But I also uh, went and picked up another um, another collar. This one right here is red. It's going to be something like what she was already wearing. But this is just a collar. I'm going to take the spike co collar off of her. And uh, hopefully this will hold her. Uh, whatever that company is, but it's supposed to be for dogs at field and we'll see if it holds her or if she ends up over on the other side of the property. So, uh, let me put the camera down and try and get this on her. All right, sugar, here's your new collar. What are you protecting me for? It's just a camera stand. I'm... <laughs> So let's pop this open without destroying everything. See how this works. See, look, it's your new collar. Do you like it? Sugar, look, it's right here. I don't want your horns poked into me. See, that's for you. Stop poking me with your horns. And will this go all the way around you? It should. I think I gotta adjust. Stop poking me with your horns. There we go. Well, you can run away now. You're not going anywhere. Let's see how to adjust and open this up. I think I'm tightening it down. Quit biting my stuff. <laughs> think that's how you do it. Stop poking me with your horns. Maybe I should have got this ready off camera, sugar. What do you think people are going to think? It has to go through there. This is how you loosen it up, but it's so tight. Get that through there. And it'll open up. Stop biting my stuff. Biting my pants. And now my seat seat. Okay, here we go. Let's see if that'll work. That's on there. Cool.
Oh, you already broke the D-ring off on that one. So that's great. Glad that we put the safety on there. You're hooking yourself around. Wait a minute. Sugar, come here. There you go. Now let's take this. Your spike collar, you're all hooked up. Stop hitting me with the horns. Well, here is this cool punk rock spiked horn, which she already broke, which I'm glad we put another, uh, an additional chain on her. That's right there. That's Sugar. She has her new collar on with the additional safety. And hopefully that works. We'll see if she's running around again, if she pops all of this. But that's about it. This is uh, my goat sugar, which a whole bunch of people were gonna put a bullet in her face. But uh, she's here, got some open place to roam, eat the grass while it's still here. And hopefully she'll make us some goat babies. So, shalom. <laughs>